afternoon from the uh, Greenhow River. So hello, missus. Hello, mister. Missus has got a jumper on. Look at that. It's a bit windy. It's not cold. It's about 28 degrees. All right, it's 18 degrees. It's a bit cool but, uh, and windy. But not we're at Greenhow River. Um, so it's about 45 k's uh, north of Mallowa. So between Mallowa and Murchison. And we're heading from Mallowa, Murchison, to um, Mount Augusta. We were going to go to Gascoigne Junction. We might do that on the way back because we end up at Coral Bay and then up to Exmouth because we're hopefully going to swim with some whale sharks. We'll see how we go. But, um, <laughs> Mrs. is keen to swim with like whale sharks. She said, can we please swim with whale sharks? And then she said, can we also get off road and get away from people and get on with dust again? I said, okay. And flies. And flies. And can we have more flies, please? But it's all right because there's no flies this afternoon. They're, they're, they're going to bed. It's, it's, it's bedtime. The sun's setting over there. We got a fire. This is the first fire in three weeks, isn't it? Uh, yeah. yeah, three and a half no, weeks. No, we never had one at Coronation. Oh, oh no, we didn't. No, no nearly two months. Crikey. Now, it's a bit blowy around here, so we, um, I'll just get that out of the way because we're, we're looking at upgrading our sound system as well, too, looking into road uh, transmitters and receivers, mics. So um, hopefully that'll avoid the uh, wind uh, issues when we're speaking. So beautiful sunset over there. But um, yeah got Vera back and the fridge is working and the generator it was um it was pretty cactus too by five hundred dollars worth of work on it um yeah so uh anyway thousand dollars on Lenny for a service three thousand on Vera for the fridge and, and bearings and brakes because they were cactus and five hundred dollars on the generator there's a fair bit of work there the recoil uh uh, when you start the Jenny, the recall um, whole unit had uh, bust and come apart and was actually working its way around, wearing parts away, so there was a full service done. So that we should be good to go now, should be good for another 15 months because that's about the last time we did everything on the. Got to do your nuts tomorrow. Ah, yes, got to check the wheel nuts because uh, they'd had the wheels off. So actually, we'll have to do that right now. Slow day, the calm and the night will unfold. Never thought that I would be traveling this road. The people keep missing, the clouds seem to fade. And every occasion I whisper your name. I might be to hear that you'll still be around. I thought you were leaving without a sound. Yeah, time for yoga. Back in WI. Thought you admit when you feel you don't belong. So tell me, are you still in there? As beautiful as you are. You just don't know how far. Right by your side with arms Even if you don't want Tricky with a fly net on And the buggers can't get in that way either Hey missus so We're just having a conversation around yoga mats And um, missus I'll just explain Well you won't have any trouble Finding it out which side is the bottom and which side is the top now after this morning's work here because this is what it looks like now. Yes, and this is after I've cleaned it. So, <laughs> so that's what it, it did look like. I don't know if you can see that with the sun. Anyway, we won't have any worries about what's the bottom and what's the top, and that's after a good brush, too. There you go, a bit of WA dust. Best dust ever. Really stuffed it up. Well, look at her, you're all in pink. <laughs> pink and purple, love. <laughs> look like you're off to the beach. Uh, yeah, you did. And what did you say? What did you decide? 
Yeah. <laughs> there you go. I knew. I knew it's so dusty. You did know. You always know. Right, there you go. I've got to do mine yet. It's on the ground. See you later. Good morning. We're uh, we're on the Carnarvon Mullawa Road from Mullawa heading up to Murchison, and uh, we had a night at the Greenhow River last night. So everything worked well. The fridge was fine. Um, Check the wheel bearings, wheel nuts. Everything was good as well. So uh, and the generator worked as well. So we had a bit of 240 power. So um, we're just uh, about an hour out of Murchison Station. So we're going to hit there. But guess what we've seen? It's just a bit of deja vu of the Great Central Road here. It's one of those. <laughs> Haven't seen one on the bitumen for a while, but certainly come off the dirt and on a corner as well. So that's one. I'm about to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. Well, I've just pulled up. Uh, we're about 80 k's south of Murchison Station, and it's called the Ballinue Ballinue Bridge. So it's WA's second oldest concrete bridge. Oh, last bridge to be constructed from components from England. There you go. They've actually got part of the bridge here. Um, This is one of the concrete bases. All right, so this is uh, the destructions. The Ballinue Bridge construction, there you go. Um, and down here is a really nice free camp. We're just gonna go and have a look at it. Um, construction of Ballinue Bridge. Yeah. So, uh, made from materials from the UK. Here we go, a bit interesting fact from the missus. Fun fact, here we go, here it is. Um, a couple of people, but one being uh, Robert Bunning, who went on to Bunnings. Bunnings. Ah, there you go. Went on to found Australian New Zealand well chain of Bunnings hardware. Roberto. Robert Bunning. Robert Bunnings. Look at all this quartz too. There's gold in that quartz. Let's go and have a look at this. Um... It's also known as the Murchison River Road Bridge. Right. But um. So, okay, so that's the original bridge. It was replaced in 2015. Okay. We're going to have a look. It's a beautiful little spot. There's water there and, um, yeah. We'll show you what the uh, causeway looks like because it's a, for the wide vehicles. They cross down the causeway and the, there's a narrow bridge up the top for um, skinny, skinny vehicles like us. We'll show you uh, the, the campground. So this Ballinue Bridge was actually opened in 2016. So this is a nice little camp area here. It's a lot higher, doesn't it? That's the, that's the actual bridge now. Yeah, that's it. Let's go and have a look. Cause it's single some... lane structure. It was, it's only one lane. So this, uh, this is for the wide vehicles, but um, it took, it took uh, over a year to build because they kept getting flooded out by the oh, yeah. Well recovered. recovered eh? Yeah. Battle new bridge on the, uh, Murchison River. Oh, nice. Yeah, a bit of firewood there. This is the Hooley stock route. Um, they used to uh, bring the stocks through. I'm not sure where they started. Rifle Range Greenhead. So I wonder where they started and finished this, but this was well known. Well, well, well. They tip it in for the... Imagine it was sheep at the time. It's been restored. All the thirsty animals would come and have their drinks. There you go. What's it say there, Mrs? 
all the people who helped, the donors, the restoration. It's Billabong Station, not Billabong. So, just pulled up at Murchison Roadhouse. How nice is this? Got um, power and unpowered sites, water, non potable water, but plenty of water nonetheless. Looks like they're building some more sites over the back there. So, this is our camp. We're going up to a lookout tonight, and there's beautiful sunsets. Look at Mrs. Gay, she's got the broom out already. The Dyson will follow. Usually, the broom than the Dyson, that's how we roll when we pull up after we've been on a dirt road. A bit of red dust. Let's have a look. Let's look at that. How is that red dust looking? Yeah, this is after we'd sealed it. Get a bit of this. That's it. It's the only place we get it. Mm. Just there and there. That's it. Anyway, but yeah, we'll, we'll uh, set up the campfire and pizzas tonight. Pizzas and palm trees. Pizzas under the palm tree. And a gin night. It's Friday. <laughs> Well, good afternoon from Erebidi Bluff, just outside of Murchison Station. So, Mrs. and I have just climbed up, uh, and it's quite steep too. So, um, let's throw the drone up and, and uh, show you a bit of the, the view. Pretty spectacular. There's Mrs. over there. How is it? How was it, love? Not worth it. <laughs> she said, Get yourself up here and have a good look around. <laughs> it's a great, great walk and great view. Righto, that's just with the phone. This is the bluff here, but the hill goes a fair way back. And I think the station's back back right over there. You can just see a little white building in the in the distance, but anyway. Everybody bluff. You Just reminisce for a change Give you the genesis of my range And when the whole world starts to fall I'll be the one rising up, standing tall They got me like, oh, 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 oh 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 All right, now we've, uh, we've done a bit of filming at Erebidi Bluff. It's time to go down, so Mrs. has got a head start. So she'll be down below me, um, which means that when I fall and tumble, she'll be there to catch me. That's a plan anyway. So, uh, yeah, what a spectacular view. And it took us about 15 minutes to get up. Um, um, can I recommend, don't do it in thongs. Yeah, no, nah, that's not, not, uh, not real clever. There's a lot of... Uh, burrs and um, sticks and, and uh, grass seed as well so um, just go straight through the thongs so uh, yeah choose your footwear a bit better there's Mrs over there she's looking for a way down so uh, obviously if I fall she's not going to catch me because she uh, hasn't gone down yet that's the last human who uh, got uh, stuck up here and couldn't um, get back down that's all right that won't be us we'll make it I'll just show what the edge is like and what we've got to get down at it. It's a bit of fun, games. Ah! Oh. Ah. Oh. Took you what? Ah, oh, yeah, with those, um... So this is what we've got to get down. Right. There. Right, so we're just sort of going to go, um... Yeah, we're going to go down here and then down and basically fall the way down you can see the car over in the distance there so it's a bit of a trick but have a look at that view we've earned our beer tonight love oh it's friday night too it's gin night <laughs> if we make it down of course we'll make it down right we'll get a bit of footage on the way down i'll show you fun and games you watch me go over tea because Oh, stupid here. 
put his thongs on instead of getting shoes on. There's Miss Sensible. This is always sensible. Oh, it's got to be when you ram around you. <laughs> There's a lot of goat heads here getting stuck on your footwear, so it's difficult to get any grip. On the bum. Did I mention um, not to wear thongs? Look at Mrs. Agile. Look at her go. <laughs> come, on. <laughs> come on. If I had a dollar for every time, Mrs. had said, come on to me, because she reckons I'm slow. So I'm getting older. It's not that. It's the default part would be in the dark walking down bloody. We're not going to get caught in the dark. We're determined, but hang on, just in case. Right oh, no. This is going to be a bit tricky, so I might just shut down here. I need two hands. Wondering, because next uh, big walk we're doing is uh, Mount Augusta, and um, that's where we just come down. That's about 12k. I won't be doing that in thongs, but we're just wondering if it's uh, similar terrain. But Mrs. seems to think there's a, um, there's a, proper, track. a proper track, so that, that'll be. Like These boots are made for walking. You know, I love. Sorry. Use your hand there. Oh, you right? Yeah. You don't need this old fart to help you, love. All over this rock climbing. She's a proper bush girl now. Doing bush poos and all sorts. No, I don't. <laughs> Everybody bluff. 20 minutes to come down. 20 minutes, huh? Cheers. We did it. <laughs> oh. So we just climbed Everybody Bluff, which is over there. You can see, well, that's the west over there in the sunset. And we just come for a drive on this little hill on the other side, and we just found this. So it's a proper barbecue and spit, spit roast. Oh, yeah. Uh, you cooking utensils attached? What if the property owner's done that of a Murchison Council? <laughs> it's on a bloody spring. Here, yeah, yeah, can. Free camp. Oh, oh. Why? Flies. Yeah, because we've got our um, nets off at the moment. Ah. Yeah, there we are. That's where we got to the top up there. Ah, beautiful. Hello, Mrs. It's Hi. um, it's it's oh, it's sorry, it's right, but it's <laughs> it's gin night. But I'm just just gonna mm -hmm. because because it's also gin night. We're trying something new on a Friday night. What's that? Pizza. Pizza. Oh, it's not new. We used to do pizza on a Friday night back in the day with the boys. But... Yeah. But gin and pizza's too. Yeah, yeah. But um, oh, so got no ice. can't jingle. can't tingle mm. with a jingle. So what I've done is I've got the camp oven there heating up, um, and I'm going to do it on the lid again and use the uh, base as the the oven. But what I've done here is I've actually cut out one of these. So what the top of the lid will actually sit in there and sit flat on there. So I put the pizza on top and then put the base on top to do the heating. So. I, it's as you do with an oven heating up now we'll get the pizzas ready we've got two and um we've gone a bit bigger this time too so last time we used the small size but um yeah this time we've gone um about the size of the lid we hope so we'll see how that goes all right we'll bring that to you
Righto, this is the test. So we're just seeing if these pizza bases fit on the top of our camp oven. Oh, how's that? Perfect! <laughs> Righto, this camp oven's a bit hot. So tonight's um, recipe will consist of leg ham. We've got mild um, salami. We've got red onion. We've got capsicum. And of course, sun-dried tomatoes. And the base will be a bit of barbecue sauce. So we'll get that chopping. We'll get this back on the fire, keep that oven warm. And Mrs. Anything else? Oh, gin. <laughs> Mrs. said gin. So that'll be it. That'll be our pizza for tonight. We'll see how we go. That's good though. It fits perfectly. Yeah, I thought they would. Yeah. Oh, that's hot. Here we are. Look. Well, here we are. Look at that. So Mrs. has actually spread the barbecue sauce on the Line. whole of the uh, pizza yeah. base because apparently my effort's not good enough. Anyway, so this is what we got. Salami, capsicum, onion, sun-dried tomatoes, and some ham, leg ham. And that'll just be sprinkled on. And it won't be anything too difficult other than just doing this and sprinkling we need around. Two hands. But I'll probably need two hands, but I'll show you what they look like when we've got them all sprinkled. <laughs> ah, you, you're picking. I'm pinching. So, I think we are ready to go. So the camp oven's there. It's nice and warm. The coals are good. Gloves are ready because it is going to be real hot. Mrs is busy. She's guarding the pizzas here. I'm, um, so which is first? We don't know. Either you Either. or me. She's just getting over the fact that Liz Truss has got uh, do kicked you. out of the British do, Parliament. No, do me and then I can eat it. Which one? That's me. Righto. That one's first. This one. Because mm -hmm. it's nicely spread. You can see it actually goes right to the edge. Whereas mine, it's a bit bare on the edge. Yeah, because yeah, I don't care. And she likes it to look pretty. But uh, Liz Truss <laughs> is out, we just found out. And there's a new Prime Minister for Great Britain. So it's all go at the moment. All up in the air. Anyway, we got pizzas and gin, so things are good yeah. at this end. Give me glass so we can look at pizzas. Right, okay. First one's ready to go on over here, Mrs. See how, and this is yours too. Oh, steady on. Right, so, I hope it's not too hot. No, I'll just let it cool down a bit. Oh, look at that. Perfect fit. Look at oh, that. I'm excited. Right, right. Keep it on there, love. Get the gloves on. Can you hear it? It's it's bubbling it. away. And. Close up the oven. Oh. <laughs> now, what have we got? How long you reckon? Uh, give it ten. Ten? Yep. You reckon? Five. <laughs> so you can tell it's a bit of a guessing game. I know. We'll just see. One. We'll check after five. We'll check after five. Okay. Right. Here we go. Um, I wonder if you left it off, it would go a bit crispier. Well, that's just the oil from the um, cheese. It'll... Okay. Yeah, Quite happy with that, actually. Quite happy with that. What? Oh, yeah. Or is crispy base? Or is it burnt base? Crispy. Words crispy, love. Crispy. <laughs> Alright. Let that cook for a little while. I mean, round two. And round two, yeah. What? How come yours is bigger? Maybe it just shrinks like things do. Things always shrink. Ready? Come on, missus. Have a mm. crack. First one. Oops. Got a bit of Simply Red going as well. Oh. One of those is mine, because mine's still cooking. Oh, look at this. What's the verdict? Mm. Mm, mm, mm. 
Beautiful. Yes. And mine's just about to come off. Oh, pizza on Friday night. <laughs>